Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Nat Walsh here. Today we have a card that these stamps are not available. Okay, these stamps are not available. But I wanted to give you an idea about anniversary. So this is an old Australian company called Stampin'. They're no longer around, as I said. And we're going to use my favourite things. Um, it is a older set called About Anniversaries. But it's sort of the only thing that I've really got. So this week was my 20th wedding anniversary. So we are in lockdown still, stage four lockdown here in Australia, in Melbourne. And I wanted to do something. But, you know, we really can't do anything, but I wanted to do something. So I've made this card. Now, 20th wedding anniversary is generally, traditionally is China. Modern is platinum. Or is it the other way around? Either way, it's those two. So we went for a I basically use those two things. So we went for a Asian style stamp set. This girl here is out of the same stamp set and she is I'm gonna call it her Chinese style dress and that sort of thing there is another one that is sort of more what I would think would be more Japanese with a kimono we've used a little flourish I don't know really what it is it's probably like a lotus thing or something I don't know it's not even a lotus flower but we're going to use this sort of florally thing for the background so I stamped it out and I talked my way through it, so you're going to have to go back. <laughs> but I stamped it out in some... I didn't actually have any silver or platinum, come to think of it. But I used some pewter embossing powder. And we've just done the whole background. I haven't been too careful. Some of the things are crossed over. Some of them are not. But it's basically filled in. So I've stamped this girl out in the Memento um, ink of desert sand and we're going to use my standard colors of E04, E11, E00 and E00 to color her in and I'm going to try and have the light source coming from the left top left that's my theory behind it all but you'll see with the dress because the dress is going to be she's curved she's curvaceous so I've used we're going to have some shadowing on the left hand side so our hair, I go back in and play with this a little bit because of the, the sun, the sand, desert sand sort of ink. It's a little bit, plays with the colour a little bit. So we'll go back through and do that a couple of times. But I have the 100 marker, the C9, C7 and C5 for her hair. And I decided to, I did actually Google this for some colour combos. And they had really like a navy, silver, um, the rich mahogany, mahogany, that's better, colour. And I thought, I really like this design, so I thought we would go with this colour. Um, but the rest of it, I basically winged it. Because originally I was thinking of doing her a bigger um, feature panel, but then... I didn't obviously because you'll see so I'm using this Copic and I think it's a 0 0.03 Copic marker and I've just used on her lips I've just used the ER59 on her lips but you can hardly tell it doesn't really matter but I just didn't like the way her lips were looking at the time so for the mahogany I've used E18 R59 and R56. I wanted that deep sort of colour, so that's why we went in for the shadows to have that really that brown. And we've marked in our sh shadows, and now I'm just going to try and figure out where everything goes. And down the side there, I'm not going to worry too much about shading. We're going to put a little bit in, but not too much. See, so around her edges, we're going to, because we want to give her a bit of depth, a bit of movement. 
So we, so I'm using the royal we, but I decided to use that dark shadow just going down a little bit, just over her hips. But I liked how it turned out, so that's all cool. So we're going to stick with basically those colours there. On her fan, I think we're going to do the flowers, a little bit of this mahogany colour and then the blue and the flower in her hair is going to be a bit of blue. This stamp doesn't really particularly like finish. You can see there with the bottom of it, she just sort of fades out. It was something a little bit different and I wasn't too concerned. I thought it'd be nice, little cool, something a little bit different just to have it have that rough edge going over her. So I said, this, these stamp sets, uh, this is, my Saturday classes are usually more about like, my Saturday classes, my Saturday videos are more about showing you some colouring, more about showing you how um, to lose, use some stamp sets. So this is sort of thinking rather than going for the traditional nice florally wedding anniversary cards. Of, because I couldn't really do that so we went for using the traditional gifts that we get for I don't know, does anyone actually ever really get those gifts I don't think I have but anywho but I basically thought that we'd go the china and the pewter look because I was running out of ideas and I couldn't quite figure it out so B99 97 and 95 for the blue and I've stuck with three colours because she's relatively small. And again, I'm mapping out. I forgot to turn the camera on a bit with those. But I'm mapping out the, the shadows and then I'm going back in. So because it's a fan, I sort of figured it's going to be not flat. And it's going to have a little bit of... I mean, they eventually get, do better, get a bit of... You know, they do go flat when they're fully out. But you know what I mean? Like... It's going to have the different, I don't know what they're called. You know, fans have those little panels and they fan out with the soft paper, tissuey, papery type of look and you have the wooden panels in between. Okay, so those little seams, I decided to give it a little bit of definition my card that's what I decided so there we go that's what I did <laughs> we so the blue is I really like the color of the blue the blue with the mahogany or maroon some people might call it I'm gonna go with mahogany is a really nice combination with the silver so there's not really much too much too much there's not really much to this card. I am sorry that these stamps are no longer available to you, but it's trying to help you to look at your stamp stash and use it for different things in different ways. I'm just going to finish up. I'm also going to do the buttons down the, on her dress, this blue colour as well. So finish up her little flower up in her hair with the blue and then I'll come back in with the rest. I do, I do, there is little leaves as you might be able to see to the sides there of her flowers on her fan. So the leaves, just one solid colour of YG67. That's pretty much it with her. The... MFT stamp set is called About Anniversaries. So you may be able to find something out there on eBay that someone's no longer using. But I don't have too, as I said, I don't have too many of these. So we are going to go with what we've gone with. What we've gone with? What we have. So I'm going to use this E18 right in the center of these flowers in a minute. But I'm going to put some stickles over that very, very shortly, just to give it a bit of a, a bit of a sparkle. So 
so the silver embossing panel that we're going to see very very shortly this one no it's not even the lotus i don't know what that is but it's a florally type of thing it is 9.7 by 14.1 and the red is 10 by 14.4 and my little woman is going to be 5 by 13.1 and the mat underneath it is 5.4 by 13.4 a little bit of glue there so I'm going to raise her up in a little bit of foam mount and the sentiment I'm also going to silver emboss or platinum emboss with here we go so platinum emboss so we're going to use a happy anniversary on the front and there's a nice little sentiment of every year on this day i know i'd marry you again oh so sweet i am going to emboss that on the inside of the card i probably i think if i do that again i'd just use it like a silver not silver but like a gray ink pad if I was to do it again but there we go so we're just going to stamp that out put a bit of anti-static pad down so over my blog you'll have all the details there the details of my the ink colors and the stamps and everything will be down on there just in case you want to look on eBay or something like that but just for other ideas and there's be some close-up photos as well so all that will be over there so please feel free to hop over there and have a look if you haven't already subscribed to my channel i'll be very honored if you subscribed and liked this video and click the little bell and that will way you will get notified every time i post a video they are usually tuesdays and saturdays with the odd one in between for if there's a hop or something like that but they're generally the days that i will um post up a bit post up a video so i had some extra embossing powder that was um, where it shouldn't be so i've got this little brush a dry brush and i'm just blending it or brushing it away so my car got a little bit warped with the embossing on the inside so we're going to raise that the woman up on some foam tape that I had and I'm also going to partially put some foam tape on the sentiment now I've removed most of the stick and I'm going to use that little bit that's not stuck down to help me place it properly then we go back in and remove that I'm going to get a little piece of spare cardstock and we're going to mount this up on the same red and the the start of the happy is going to be right up against it which there is actually going to be right up against the the side left hand side of the lady and we're going to trim that down a little bit it just worked out that it was the perfect size it wasn't literally a scrub trim that off over the end of the anniversary we're going to place a bit of foam tape and I'll use a bit of wet glue to put the rest of it down. We have a bit of wiggle time with the glue. That's why I like wet glue. We have a bit of wiggle time to straighten that up because this foam tape is, once it's down, that's it. It's well and truly stuck. There's no removing and changing it. But at least with the glue, you have time to just move it down a little bit. So we've got some Xmas red stickles and i'm also going to use some twilight stickles for i just thought she needed a little bit of sparkle so i do hope you enjoyed my card as i said like and subscribe and that would be awesome i'm just spreading it out here with a little bit of a pin and i look forward to seeing you next time i post a video take care of yourself and i will talk to you soon bye